I regret that I was not around 1945 as minister, <laughs> ah. because that's when we should have been more active. Uh, we brought you a present, something which I hope you will like. I'm very, very grateful. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a remarkable piece of art. This was my greatest inspiration, you know, and I was so angry at the passivity, and I tried to do my very best, you know, to keep, to first of all get the truth out from the Russians. I was in Moscow, I was in Stockholm, I was horrible with them, uh, to get the truth out. And then, now he would have been 100 years old. Of course, now even Nina Lagergren, his uh, sister, uh, agrees that he cannot be alive. So now we have one obligation which you have stood for and you all of you to keep his memory alive. Keep his memory alive. And this was what was inspiring me when I was president of the UN General Assembly. And we dis we, when I was president of the Assembly, we made the 27th of January the day of remembrance mm -hmm. of Holocaust. Yeah. Because this is a, an act of prevention. Yeah. If we say that this must not happen again, it is for the future. That's you may have your views about Israel today. Yes. There's nothing to do with this. Why we sometimes we, this is, I don't say it's a disagreement, but I feel like in Armenia, that how we every day we create hate. And if you talk about hate every day, mm. sooner or late, people will die. So yeah. That's what we should avoid today. Absolutely important. It's absolutely that's true. Why Keeping alive the image yeah. of Wallenberg. Exactly. Uh, that's exactly what I said to the member states who were hesitating to make Holocaust the uh, day of remembrance. I said, by that you are saying that it could happen again. We have to uh, unite in this world that it must not happen again. But so you know what, what, what you do with Raoul Wallenberg's memory is something else which is absolutely important. You are saying to the young people of the world, in the schools, and the young yeah. people, that listen, you have a responsibility. You can do it. In today's world, nobody can do everything. Mm -hmm. But everybody can do something. something. Yeah. And that's what young people in today's world need to know. Because they feel, oh, it doesn't matter, yeah. I don't know. So what this says is that he wasn't, he wasn't sort of a, a big international mediator or anything. He was a small businessman and just with a the good instinct, you know, a good moral compass. You know. Maybe a little bit innocent. Hmm? A little bit I'm innocent. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We are offering a reward to anybody who is who will bring us any information to to know what happens to him. <coughs> we started with one hundred thousand euros. Uh, <coughs> we, uh, it's collected to increase to 200,000 and today our chairman came and told us let's offer $500,000 oh, so we are going, so we are going to, keep it alive. To, to announce it tomorrow that's one and the other you know we worked for 10 years we had a, uh, when I was uh, deputy foreign minister we established a uh, commission the commission on the Russian Swedish yeah, and uh, we worked for 10 years. And in the end, the Russians said, now you have, we have given you everything we have. And you can't expect more. And at that time, you know, Russia was changing. It was not the old communist Soviet Union. It was opening. It was uh, opening up. Not fully, as we all know. And then in the end, after 10 years, uh, they came to me again and said, can we now close the book on Wallenberg? And I had to tell them, no. There is still something to come out. And they got so upset because probably from their perspective they had given everything. But I'm sure there is something in the archives of KGB or, they want to uh, uh, or in the Secret Service of other countries. You know. So uh, because I also consulted, of course, Nina at the time. And uh, she felt also that we should, not, uh, we should not say that this case can be closed. A word that you give, uh, it's going to be... As a reminder, yes. reminder that we still have things to find out. And when I was foreign minister and also responsible, every case, you know, with people who disappeared or anything, I, I would never give up. You know, we, you know, those journalists who are stuck in prisons all over. Yeah. It's, it's, it's this man who reminded us what we had to do.
what we are looking is some point, something to locate what happens to him. Yeah. And you know what we could. As you said also, he, he was really innocent, you know, he was, he just, he just did things. Uh, uh, but that also shows that everybody can do something, huh? Well, this is, I'll tell you what, this was my best meeting this week. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. This was the most inspiring meeting. I, I Thank can't, you. Thank I can't you. tell you enough how enormously grateful I am for this. Thank you. It's got, it's got, I'm going to, I'm going to take it to my home because I want my children and my family to see it and I will always tell the story. Yeah. You know?